Hey guys, today we're gonna be building some cool border hover animation that's gonna look like this. So we're gonna have a card with an image or text, whatever you guys prefer. And once we hover, we're gonna have two borders animating on our card. So I currently have index.html and style CSS, which is empty. And in our index.html, I have just link the styles here. There's nothing else. And I have the picture, which I called logo. So this is the picture I'm going to be using. You guys can use whatever you like. Like I said, you can use text as well instead. So we're going to start making this project here. We're going to have a card first. And then inside that card, we're going to have two things. One of them is going to be a span with a class of border. So we can do span dot border. And then under that span, we want to have an image, which is going to be in my case, the logo.png. And we can add logo for all text. And I already have it open here on, in live server. So we can move back to our style.css to add some stylings. So the first thing we want to target all the elements here with star, but we also want to target before and after. We're going to add some box sizing of border box and the remove margin and padding. Then we can target our body here, add some background to it. And we also want to make it full height, so under the H. And then here we have card, we have a border, and we have an image here. So we want to target our card first. want to make it 200 pixels by 200, so with a height of 200 here. We want to add a cursor of pointer, and, and we're also going to make it a position relative here. So we're going to be needing to center the card on the page so we can add display flex to the body and we can add margin auto here to center it completely on the page. Then we can make this a bit smaller so you guys can see it properly. So those are the styles for our card. And then for the borders we're going to have before and after. So we can target that here. So I'm going to target both card before and card after because they're going to have some same styles so we don't need to repeat ourselves. So both before and after are going to have these and we also want to add some transition. It's going to be 500 milliseconds here. And then under that, we can target only before, so without the after. It's gonna have border top, four pixels solid, and then we're gonna add some yellow color here. And we're also gonna have a border bottom, which is gonna be the same as the line above, so four pixel solid, and then the same color we have here. And we want to add a transform, which is going to be scale x here, and we want to set it to 0. And then here, we're going to have some hover on the card. So once we hover the card here, we want to target the before. Then we want to add transform, scale x, and we want to set that to 1 here. And then here on, underneath that, we want to target the, the after only, so like we did with before. So we can copy card before here and just change this to after. And then we're going to have border right and left instead of top and bottom. So the first one is going to be border right and the second one is going to be border left. And they're going to be the same exact color. And instead of scale X here, we want to change this to scale Y, and it's still going to be zero. 
And then here we are going to have card on hover. We want to target after. And we're going to have the same transform we have here for before. Except in this case, instead of scale X, we're going to have scale Y. And then we can target this class, which is border. That's going to keep everything here. So right now we have that yellow border showing once we hover the card. So we can target the class of border, which is our span. I'm going to make it absolute. Make it full width and height. And we're going to rotate it by 45 degrees here. <clears throat> and we can also add some background so you guys can see it. So background and let's do 0C1. 015 like a dark gray background so right now you can see how that looks like but we were not able to see the image so we're gonna add a c index here of minus one so this is underneath the picture so now when we hover we get that yellow border then we can target the border again so it's gonna be card border and we want to target both before and after again because we're gonna have some same styles so cut border before and cut border after. We're gonna have content of an empty string, position absolute, It'll be top zero and left zero. And we wanna make it full width and height, 100%. And we also wanna add some transition of thousand milliseconds, or if you wanna do it easier you can just do one second it's gonna be the same things as hundred thousand milliseconds here and then after that we want to target only before so we can do card border before and then here we're gonna have some different styles than the same styles that they have here so for before we're gonna have border top it's gonna be four pixels solid and we're gonna have some type of uh, blue background, blue purple. <clears throat> and we want to do the same thing for the border bottom. So four pixels solid and we want to get the same color. And we're going to have a transform scale X and we're going to set that to zero. Then under that we can target <clears throat> we can target the card on hover and then select the border. So card hover border before. And then here we're gonna have transform of scale X and we wanna set that to one. As you can see how that looks, so at zero you're not going to be able to see it, and once we hover this is scaling to one, this like purple border we have. And then under that we can target the after, so we can copy line 74 to 78, it's going to be the same thing. We can change this to after. And then we're going to change few things here, so instead of border top, this is going to be border right. And instead of border bottom, this is going to be border left and for our scale instead of x we want to scale y to zero and the last thing here we want to add is let's target card on hover and then we're going to target our border after and we want to add transform here we're going to have scale y and we want to set that to one so now once we hover the card, we have the purple borders on each side and we also have the yellow borders on top of everything, as you can see here. So that would be it for this project, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.